always sort of in the back of my mind, even, even as a child, wanting to be in the business. And uh, I found that uh, my niche was sort of around the communications field, starting out as a photographer and, and having to be involved in a lot of things that, that had a communication background uh, over the years. So um, going to school and learning some of the craft of communication sort of drove me in that direction. There are a lot of challenges. Um, you know, I, I've been in business for 40 years, and over the years, a lot of things have changed, particularly as it relates to being a small African American business person. Um, it many times it depends on what the climate is at that time, whether or not you're going to get an opportunity to do various kinds of things. So there are always challenges on whether or not you can. Uh, fit the, the particular mold that uh, that happens to exist at that time. Uh, when I was uh, started in business, I was 24 years old. And I remember a lot was happening during that time. The Model City era was, was, was moving pretty fast. And uh, you began to see people who would, you had never seen uh, getting into so-called the loop of things. They were in government. Some were in business. Opportunities were being created for minority businesses and things of that nature. So a lot of things were happening during the 70s and uh, during the late 60s, 70s, and early 80s that we really just don't see right now. The community fabric has changed a we've, lot. We've yeah. gone through the affirmative action period. We've gone through the conscious driven period. We've gone through a lot of different periods which all affect um, people like myself, business people who who are trying to be a part of the mainstream of business. Mentors. Now I've had uh, uh, certain people who I felt close enough to to go to and talk about issues uh, who sort of inspired me from afar. People like the late Clarence Bowman, people like uh, Lorenzo Harris, uh, you know, people like that who have been people that I look at as sort of my heroes as far as business is concerned. If, if I have nothing else, I am the kind of person who just don't quit. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like a, a, a beaver. I keep going back trying to find that hole to climb through. And uh, for over 40 years, I've done that. And I think that's, if I had to advise any young person who was looking at uh, entrepreneurship as a lifelong career, it would be that uh, they should uh, have in their mind that they're going to finish the journey in regards of what it takes.